Good morning everyone. So in today's session we'll be talking about performance testing and how Gmeter as a tool is very effective in doing performance testing of your web, mobile applications and whatever server you're using. So in this topic we'll be starting up with the basics of Gmeter and we'll be touching upon these topics. There are prerequisites for Gmeter, installation of Gmeter, logic behind Gmeter and this is the download URL from where you can download the tool and it is free of cost. So as we start with the prerequisites for Gmeter, so the basic requisites for Gmeter is you need to have Java installed on your machine. So how you can check that Java is installed on your machine or not? Basically Gmeter 3.1 version requires Java 7 or higher. So you can check the Java version by typing Java hyphen version. Sorry, version. So you can see I have 1.8 and it means that my Gmeter 3.1 is supported. So as we start with Gmeter now, Gmeter had a lot of releases and it is basically a Java application built by Apache. So it started up around 2.0, 2.1 and currently 3.1 is the latest version available in the market. So installation of Gmeter is very simple. It's like you need to download the application from a server and just start the batch file. And you don't need to set any configurations except that. So the download URL is as gmeter.apache.org download. You can go here and download this zip folder. So as soon as you download the zip folder on your local drive, you can open that folder and unzip it. So after unzipping it, you would, some, you would like to have something like this. So for starting Gmeter, go to the bin folder and just open the Gmeter batch file. So this is as simple as anything. You just need to download and start the batch file. And this is the home page of Gmeter, how it starts. So you can see that it has two things that are already built in. That is a test plan and the workbench. So test plan is something that gonna have all the features that you're gonna test, all the requests, and workbench is something you would keep it as a practice area. So before we start up with the test plan and workbench, when you need to understand what is the process behind Gmeter. I mean how Gmeter gonna help us as a performance testing tool. So if I talk about performance, so if I say you do measure performance of a website that you are putting online or putting it live, so how can you measure that? Say so for example you are a user. User one and you're hitting your server. But consider it as a server. Okay, I'll put it as S. So user one hits the server and gets the response back. Okay. So this is just a one request that had gone to the server and he has got a response in. You can assume at oh, one second. So what is performance testing? Actually, I want to test that how would my server behave when hundreds or thousands of users are hitting the servers concurrently. So that means user 2, user 3, and so on till user say 1000 and they are hitting the servers directly. Now I want to check 
how would my this web application behave what is the response time how much is the difference between the response time when only one user was hitting the server and and thousands of users are hitting concurrently so this is basically performance testing you're putting load on your server so I have seen people getting confused while you know talking about performance testing we are not testing the performance of any application whether it is a web app or a mobile app in reality if you I mean if you have understood the scenario you must have understand that we are testing performance of the server. How is this server responding when we are putting load on it? And the response time which the server will give, that will tell how your application behaves. So basically, performance testing is on the servers that you are using. Okay, so we'll start up with understanding how these tools work. So, JMeter basically test plan is the same test plan that you use in manual testing which will create of all the test scripts you used to write. So, we'll start up with a very simple example. Say, uh, I'm saying you to test performance testing of google.com. Say, for example, I want 10 users to directly hit Google server and get the page back. So JMeter has, okay, before we move on directly to the google.com thing, as we just discussed that, we need to have 1000 users to hit the application concurrently. So how does JMeter works? If I'm saying, J meter what is its role here if I'm saying I want to test a bad application with say hundred or thousand users I can ask my hundred or thousands of people to hit the server directly but if you see that that is not feasible you cannot have so much of machines out there to test everything so what JMeter is doing is it is generating a virtual load. A virtual load is something of virtual users that will behave like a real user sitting in your servers. So each user creates a thread and each thread hits the server concurrently or sequentially as you would like. So first of all you need to generate load. And for that, JMeter supports thread group. So what is a thread group? In simple term, thread group are the group of users that will be executing your activity. So if you can see this, I have created a thread group under test plan. You can name it as you like it, say Google users. So JMeter is all about right click. You just need to right click to explore all options. So we can come to the thread properties now. So number of threads or the number of users. This is very important. I mean I would suggest all of you not to put thousands or a bigger number here because each user creates a thread and each thread occupies some memory of your CPU. So if you put 10,000 users, you have a high chance of getting a memory leak issue or maybe your CPU hangs or gets heat up because a lot of threads are getting generated. So you can put a generic number, say, we'll start up with something less, say 50 users. Before I come to ramp up period, you can also increase the loop count. So if loop count is 1, this 50 users will execute once. That a number of iterations will be 50. So if you put the loop count as 2, each user will make 2 iterations. 
so now we have 50 users and each making two iterations so total number of iterations will be 100 right so now what is ramp up period this property is very important in generating your load according to what your client says say for example I am a client I want my application to be tested when 100 users hits simultaneously so you put the ramp up period as 1 ramp up period is the time which JMeter will take to put all its load up in action so if I put here 10 seconds so you have 50 users and ramp up period is 10 seconds so in 10 seconds all your 50 users will be up so what does this mean if I am saying total number of users is 50 and ramp up period is 10 seconds so this means that every second every second ten fifty divided by ten five so every second five users will be up and running so in 10 seconds you will see all your 50 users up and hitting your servers I hope you got it so now we have generated the load that we gonna work with 50 users making two iterations each and the ramp up period is 10 seconds so now I have to define where do my 50 users hit so for that we have something called samplers you can right click add samplers and HTTP request so your server name is google.com since we are hitting the home page only so we don't need to put any path here right so reiterating again we have generated the load and we have specified where this load will be hitting this 50 users will be hitting the Google servers home page and method is get because we want to retrieve the page so how do I see the results I can see the results with the help of listener again right click on thread group or you can put the listener inside the sampler also and choose view results in table so this will show me the result of my execution so go back to the thread group run you can save the test if you like otherwise you can skip so you can see the users running there and you can see the results of them so this is just the basic I have just took an example of how geometer threads hit the servers and we get the results so we'll be covering all these samplers config elements how we can parameterize data logic controllers timers assertions everything in detail in the coming tutorials so this example was just to show logic behind how geometer works thank you we'll catch up in another session soon